So as it is the season of goodwill, I thought I'd spend today's video just uh, waxing lyrical a little bit about some of the other Wolves YouTubers who are out there. And if you don't know them, I would suggest that you subscribe to all three of the ones that I'm going to talk about today. Because uh, not only are they really good YouTubers and really talented, but they're also really lovely people. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, Dazzling Dave. If you don't know him, he's... Uh, a slightly older YouTuber than uh, the usual sort of early 20s. I mean, I consider myself to be old uh, a YouTube, but uh, Dazzling Dave's a little bit older, and he's thrown himself really into it over the last year or so. He does match day vlogs, and does previews and reviews of all of the games. I think he's very, very uh, confident in how he speaks, and he go, takes his camera out and around the, uh, the grounds, which I could never do. Um, he also does uh, some lifestyle vlogs as well, which um, are not to my taste, but I find them quite entertaining anyway. Um, so, yeah, check out Dazzling Dave, guys. The second one is a channel that I'm uh, occasionally a part of. I haven't been on it for quite a while now, but uh, that's Talking Wolves. And that's Dave Azapardi's uh, second YouTube channel. He's uh, a football manager, YouTuber. I found him years and years ago doing little experiments and, and things like that and he's branched into uh, doing his own Little Wolves channel uh, as well, I say little, it's got about two and a half thousand subscribers now, it's a uh, quickly growing uh, movement and I think there's a lot of potential in that, they've got quite a few backers uh, in terms of sponsorship and things like that already. Having only been going for about six months I think that's a really really tremendous start and he's I think they've got something really, really special there, so really pleased to be part of it, although albeit occasionally, um, and hopefully a little bit more going forward now. And finally, I think probably the most talented uh, YouTuber in the Wolves community, and that's Finners. Uh, his matchday vlogs, the way that they're edited and the way that they're put together are superb. Uh, again, similar to Dazzling Dave, the way he talks to camera in front of you know, amongst the crowd of people is not something I can do. He's only 18 and he's taken a year out between school and university, which I think is completely the right thing to do. He's thrown himself into this, uh, to YouTube. Um, and I think he's got the potential to go on and be a broadcaster or a journalist or whatever he wants to be. He's got, he's very eloquent, he's very talented, obviously, on the, on the computer and editing and stuff. So I'm very excited to see where he ends up in the next couple of years. Well done, Fizz. So yeah, there you are, there's three to go and look out for. There are many, 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 many others uh, out there. But they're the three that I think are the other ones to look out for. Um, I'm very humbled by the number of people who've subscribed to me over the last uh, two years now since I've been doing this. Um, but these three, I think, are far better than me at doing various things, at the editing, at the speaking, and I'm excited to see where each one of those three channels goes in the future. Don't forget to drop a like on this video as well, subscribe to me and the other channels that I've mentioned today, and uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye. I'm watching Paul McCartney right now. <laughs>